Jamal Muhammad. For the Warriors, wearing number one, Deontay Kozar. For the Rough Riders, wearing number one, Jabril Muhammad. For the Warriors, wearing number two, Jabari Oots. For the Rough Riders, wearing number two, Nico Reeves. For the Warriors, wearing number three, Tyler. For the Earthbiders, wearing number five, Darius Buchanan. For the Warriors, wearing number five, William George. And wearing number 33 for the Earthbiders, Alande Johnson. And for the Warriors, wearing number 23, Tanya Dixon. Ready to shoot me, go. That's far enough. That's far enough. Pull up, hop out.
anyway, so I'll see you.
He's about to oh, oh.
Shout out to the Network. 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 We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. They said we couldn't do it, but look tonight. Tonight, they coming at that one. We live on Who's Mizzou Network. I got the head coach of Theodore Roosevelt basketball, Coach Rob Nickens, right here. Mr. Coach Nickens, what was tonight's game plan coming in a hostile environment? Playoff time, win or go home? We wanted to pressure H.D. Wilson. Um, we saw things on tape about we thought our guard play. We could get up and down and play um, fast against them. And during most of the game, we was able to do that. But we got in foul trouble early, and then I had to play zone, went to the 3-2, and packed it in for a while. We were in such foul trouble, but... Um, as the game went on, we, we was able to spread out a little bit, but we never got it to like 13 or 14. It was always between the 9 and 10 months. So we could never, ever pull away. And they made their run at home in the playoffs. The great team was going to make their run. But I think down the stretch, um, our kids just fought to the end, and that's what I'm proud about. Got you. Like you said, they made a comeback, and you had about four, four, five key players in foul trouble. So speak about like your reserves and how they came up and stepped up. You know, up. one thing about at Roosevelt, man, we've 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 dealt with injuries over the years. Uh, we we've, we've dealt with kids, um, you know, having to be out because of death in their family. But we've always preached next man up, and I think tonight you saw that. I mean, Jason Savoy, Keon Ware, um, Keyshawn Bullock. Um, the Marty Lee Kane, all the young guys that will be returning next year play big in this hospital environment. And that's what I'm happy about. Um, you know, the, the thing in Roosevelt, man, you know, we've been to eight championship games uh, in a row, so we always preach be ready come this time of year. And uh, Let's go, y'all. tonight, to be able to win in this hospital environment, double overtime, I, I can't get much static on what happens. I'm being honest with you. This was a great win for, for the program, but also for the younger guys that did that. Needed to be understand when you put that jersey on, sis, still on Roosevelt, people want to beat you anyway. Got you. How did you get your players to still believe when, from the looks of it, it looked like y'all was out of it? How did you get them to just keep well, believing? Last keep play believing? Of the game, we, we noticed they didn't put any bound out of bounds pass. So we knew with point eight we could get a shot. And we ran a curl play for the shooter. And I'm being honest, man. I mean, I'm going to go back and watch the video tonight when I get home. I thought he got fouled on the three. He did. He but did. Call it, but the kids stepped up and made two free throws in no time on the clock. They just go to show how big his heart is with noise on the road. That's what you have to do. And um, Jabril Muhammad did that. So, I mean, he's grown up over the year. Um, nobody gave them kids a chance, but now they're big time basketball players. And um, just believe that, man, as long as you have time on the clock, you can win. And that's what we preach. We do it every day. I think conditioning paid off in this game. Um, as overtime, and it got hotter and hotter in here. Our guys seem to be ready to be really, real comfortable playing in this environment, and I'm happy about that because we can dish a hotter party anybody in the city. Got you. Congratulations on the victory tonight. You live to fight another day. Some of the rest of you see you see you Saturday, Coach. One time before we get up out of here, shout out the network. Shout out to the Zoo Network, best in the city. Father, Dr. Play, let you slip. Keep doing what you're doing. Dollars work. Thank you. We live on Who's Mizzou Network. Who I got right here? 2019, Got you, Mr. Muhammad. You led your team with 27 points. Speak about your offensive production. Uh, man, I just had to play hard and contribute. But we had two players gone. So, uh, foul trouble, so we had to play. Got you. Got you. How did you get your team? Like, like y'all had to leave. Y'all let them come back. Like, speak about how y'all stayed humble and, you know, kept y'all composure to stay in the game. We just fought hard. We believed in each other. That's all. That's the key to having a great team. Got you. How you feel after this victory, man? Y'all did it. Y'all pulled it out. Squeeze it for it. We're not done. Got you. Come for the next team. Got you. Congratulations on your victory tonight. One time before we get up out of here, can you shout out Who's Mizzou Network? Shout out Who's Mizzou Network. Thank you.